Outside, it's a freezing Arctic wasteland, but inside, it's loud, hot, and rowdy. Welcome to the Thunderdome. We're broadcasting live from Cineapolis, Forsken, Minnesota. The fans are wearing parkas and shorts, ready for the carnage to begin. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Green Bay Attackers battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was going to get him now. You know what happened? Are you ready for some NFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said NFL, not M-I-L-F, you have wit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waste at all! Ho ho! Va 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 boom! And it's first and ten. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to manage the dice, Graham. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. I understand, <laughs> I'll wreck your world. The defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Hiring all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend Matt with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First down and six. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. to go somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as literal as you think this is your brain and this is your brain on ah, another interception please you give this guy a bigger paycheck and he's off to the races look at that little boom and he's dead oh bingo 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 i got bingo grim
and it's first and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Second down and two. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop us throwing that good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? What does it for your time? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. It's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Shave a few days off his life. Yo, man, nobody can touch you on eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Third down and five. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho ho! Crowd's loving it. First and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. See a lot of carnage today, folks. 
These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy Blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. That run is good for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Look at those moves. His teammates better compliment his dancing skills. Otherwise, there's going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again. Okay. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Now that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really pick a thrill, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it <laughs> and it's first and ten and that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for you pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Second down and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever... Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans! It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Third down and three. At this point with multiple and pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me?
And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, Grim. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Oh, my God! A man from prison just came out of the field! That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, then. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And that'll bring up second and one. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First down and one. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Jake, what you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. 
about a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Oh, man, he really wants it. Oh, and did he just put on a... Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My turn on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. And he's running. Oh, with a brutal hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. Blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and, well, good luck. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Grim, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Ugh, at least they can pee for me, too. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. And that'll be second and eight to go. And another interception. This quarter, oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. 
must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, what a throw. You can't keep a good mutant down. He like bricks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And there's another pick. Man, this... Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. <laughs> that one out of the air for a first down see if they can get something going here smart move there stopping the clock with their first time out and for all you know maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down, and the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? wake of destruction in his path and the body toll continues to climb oh man his neck vertebrae just got crunched sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they say at the deli who's next uh, uh, can i get a swiss on rye with uh no mustard And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. We have the coast. Why do we even come back for a bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah. If only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. catch chipping away with those medium passes oh no that was totally unnecessary 
I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. <laughs> and the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 30. He's at the 20, the 10. He scores! When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. <laughs> you know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue! You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue! My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks! Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls! What a hit! Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to hit it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, oh, my bad. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Boom, and he's dead. First and ten. At this point, with oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after the. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up.
The offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. If they lose another, it's game over. And it's first and goal. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. And with another pick, the QB says... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire... Oh, with a punishing hit! And it's first and ten. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to survive so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. 
The previous play never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left and a step to the right. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. <laughs> The offense is no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. No, you didn't. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> And the Purple Mutant Eaters decimate the competition today and deliver their home team fans a forfeit. Ah, Grim, some of the defensive Mutant Eater players are snacking on the left of the body parts. Why do you think they're called the Purple Mutant Eater, you idiot? It was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...